Hello everyone and welcome to Magic Gathering Strat. I'm BinkyV and this will be a deck tech with Is It Dragons? A little brew I have going here. I guess it's not completely correct to call it Is It Dragons since we're splashing white for Dragon Lord every time, but seriously, have you seen how busted this card is? Just wins. So, what I was thinking was that since Silumgar Scorn is really good and card li cards like Draconic Roar is fairly strong. Wouldn't it be possible to make a blue-red deck with dragons, since actually red has the best dragons. Stormbreath Dragon, Thunderbreak Regent, and if you go into blue and white to get the Dragon Lord Overtie. It was the last addition to the deck, and I think it, the thing is that it, it doesn't cost the mana base anything. It almost makes it better. <laughs> so it's, it's basically a free splash, and I think it's worth it. So the plan is to... Uh, be a, a deck that can shift gears very fast. Um, you could play the more controlish game where you kill everything they have, counter everything, refill your hand with uh, a card draw spell and then drop something huge. Uh, you could also play a tempo game where you maybe kill something then drop a big threat they have to try to uh, handle it and you drop another threat and if they can't handle that, then you're in pretty good shape. Uh, we're running 8 count spells, no dissolves. Uh, actually, we don't run anything that costs 3. And the reason for that is... I guess Mind Swipe actually is a 3 drop sometimes. But the reason for that is that double blue is not that fun to have. And Silungar Scorn, while double blue, is better later. And... To be able to like play a Thunderbreak region with Silumgar Scorn up is quite possible, but to play a Thunderbreak region with the Soul backup is a whole different matter. So, yeah, and I think Mindswipe plays the role in this deck pretty good, pretty well because you're pretty aggressive. They take a few points from the Pain Lands, you get a few points from a Draconic Roar, maybe they take some damage from killing this, and then you Mindswipe something for a 3 or 4 and all of a sudden they're at like 8 and 1 storm breath attack and they're dead. So I think it, I think it fits the bills better than dissolve. Also we have so many scry lands and uh, anticipates and stuff that the scry effect from dissolve is not really worth it. Uh, yeah wind conditions, storm breaths, thunderbreak regents, dragonlord Uritai and uh, burn. Stoke the flames and stuff. Uh, is this deck perfect as it is? Definitely not. I think it could be improved a lot. It's just something I threw together right now. Maybe Stoke the Flames is too expensive and inefficient. Maybe it should be something else. Maybe we want like a Planeswalker perhaps. Sarkhan was in first but I switched him out for Dragonlord Ogitai. Maybe we want something like... Um, I mean maybe we want to solve as well and play like 12 counter spells. Who knows? That's what we're here to find out. In the board, I have a little package against control here. Pearlic Ancient is extremely expensive, but I think when the match goes long and you like draw a couple of extra lands, we have no way to discard them with like Eska, Sennacy, or whatever. We will get to this point, and if we can play this end of turn, there's pretty much nothing they can do to stop it. They can try to kill it of course but if they let us untap that's not going to happen. And Karanos is Karanos, pretty hard to kill. Then we have the thing is that I think this deck is decent against the token and uh, uh, red deck wins and the red deck with the green splash already in the main because we can pretty much keep pace up until turn 4 and 5 and then we drop this and they won't be able to keep up. But I've decided that they are, at least on Magic Online, the red decks and the token decks are so freaking popular that I've de dedicated a lot in the sideboard for that. So we have two wild slashes to kill like Seeker of the Ways and uh, Swift Spears or what have you. 
same with searing blood goes pretty well with draconic roar it's just uh, damage that just happens and uh, incidental damage is just very sweet three anger of the gods could probably be four it's just that good and so important one rose to kill siege rhinos and stuff otherwise siege rhino is pretty hard for us to beat once it resolves but against four mind swipes four asylum guard scorn and disdainful strokes in the board that should be should be um, beatable two disdainful strokes as I just mentioned against control against whatever two negates also for the token matchups so we have a lot of things to bring in I will also have a lot of things to bring out mind swipe is too slow stoke the flames is too slow we won't stick anything probably uh, so yeah the mana base is a bunch of temples duels triple lands and two haven of the spirit dragon which is also a concession to the more grinder matchup but it's just for them to kill like three Dracolord Oritais and then we bring them back with counter backups I just don't see how we could lose a control um, a control matchup I think we are heavily favored that there because all our uh, threats are so efficient they have haste or hexproof and we have very very many counters and we yeah we should be able to win that the only card that's bad against control I guess is draconic roar but we can easily switch that out for um, more threats and more counters so well there you have the deck hopefully it will work decently I will run through some matches and yeah let's check it out <laughs> 